but research or some people say that not all cancers are as a result of um, dieting on how yes, you eat. Yes, of course. Um, um, for example, um, posture cancer has yes. nothing to do with diet no, or no, hygiene no, no, or no, how no, you eat. No, no. So how can somebody actually now detect that uh, kind of cancer early? That's why we we have not talked about it, but there's some popular cancers that we know and we have what we call screening programs for them, yeah. like breast cancer. Mm. We talk about examining your breast at least once a month. Okay. Okay? Skin cancer. Is there anything like skin cancer? Yeah, there is. Oh. Okay. When you talk about skin cancer, that just means that once you feel, once you see any mole, any mark or swelling that is not supposed to be there, see your doctor. It doesn't mean it's cancer. Am I getting right? Yes. For breast, we talk about self-breast examination from 35, 40. We talk about the mammo, depending on issues. The issues on there's some research to say that mammo too can be a problem, especially if the breast size is small. You know, because of the way the mammo works, it'd be difficult to do a proper mammo grounding. Eh? Maybe a CT scan or MRI, get around. But it's important to do for prostate cancer. It's from I think a 35 or 40. We suggest that you do PSA. PSA is a blood test, all right, in which where um, it's a blood test that checks in a way for cancer. I said in a way because <laughs> it's another dy dynamics because PSA is not absolutely conclusive that. It's cancer, that's cancer. But, mm. uh, for now, uh, for now, that's the best we have. There, there, the research has been going. They are going on presently to get something better, yeah. but that's what we have for now. So for it's now. not just PSA, digital rectal examination. So from 40 years old, you need to see your doctor regularly to assess your prostate. That, okay. that's what, for All colon right. cancer, there are colon cancer screening programs. It's two for occult blood, colonoscopy. So that things you do regularly just to ensure that. It's not cut lit. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much. Sir. Um, you. Do you know, it's, I, I like the fact that you brought the analogy of um, we ask questions. I, I, information is important. We've said that time and time again yeah. on several episodes of uh, you know, the morning flight. And uh, that's why the, when you get the right information, you are able to change. Yeah. Whether something is bad, you're able to detect. Now, information is a mirror that helps you detect, okay, this thing is wrong. It's time to make a switch and change it. And that's why we're always educating people on several topics, health matters. And every single professional or doctor, you know, has always said it has to do with your lifestyle. lifestyle. There's got to be an intentional you know, living, mm -hmm. you've got to have the mindset that, look, this body of mine, not only is it a vessel to operate on the earth, it's my responsibility to ensure that it's in perfect health. Mm -hmm. um, we've had several healing faith seminars, yes. and after healing, pastor still tells you, drink water, <laughs> drink lots of water. Um, the first thing you do when you feel an ache on your head um, is not to say, oh, Where's my pasta? I'm out taking painkillers. It might just be you need to rest. It yeah. might just be you need to take some water. Your body mm -hmm. needs water, you know, yeah. just to relax your nerves mm -hmm. and some parts of your body. And that's why this information is important. Some people have been educated wrongly. The first thing you do, we've talked about demystifying some certain meats yes, here. The first thing you do is put um, ori, put <laughs> this, <laughs> masha did, salt. use stone, put salt, you know, some kind of certain things Drink that salt yeah. in water. use salt in water. Mm -hmm. And you know, those kind of very, mm -hmm. very funny concussions that actually now become detrimental to mm -hmm. what you didn't have before exactly. can actually cause some certain things. Mm -hmm. And we're grateful that you've enlightened us on the subject of cancer. But you know the thing about it is the fact that Jesus is the only way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, that's why our mouths were giving to us to take charge of our lives. The Bible tells us that God wants us to be in health and mm -hmm. prosper, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. as our soul prospers. Right. You know, he wants us to be in divine health. And that comes the place of affirmations. Another remedy <laughs> we're giving you. The place of affirmation. Before we take the affirmation, you know, Pastor has always told us that um, we should study the word for ourselves. Mm. You know, it's not, affirmations are excellent, but affirmation with the relationship mm. with the word and the Holy Spirit will go, will go giant strides, all right? So the same way Pastor advises us to um, study the word, the, the things he has talked about. Study it for yourself. Have, have a deeper personal knowledge. Conviction. Okay? Yeah. And a personal conviction. The same way with the decisions we take every day. All right? With the things we do every day. I know, you know, I've interacted with a lot of people and I know people just do things because people are doing things. So. Mm. 
you know what I'm saying? The things you do every day, justify them, verify them. Intentional. Are you getting what I mean? Don't just maybe because you're all ladies and we use makeup. Don't just use a makeup because you saw somebody that you admire use using it. Find out about the makeup. Different makeups now I know come with different they have different chemical backgrounds yeah. because of reactions. Right. Mm -hmm. Investigate yourself. Mm. Don't just use a makeup because of the label. It's fashionable. No. Do I want this? Does it work for me? So I said I use the example of a makeup because it applies to everything we do in life. Mm. I've heard people say that when I wake up in the morning, I take warm water and they say, they say, who are the day? Mm. Yes, drinking water is generally good. Whether warm or cold, I don't know what that does, but drinking water generally is good. You get what I'm saying? But I'm just saying that we need to, like you said, take responsibility for our, our bodies, not just do something because they said, or because one doctor, I don't, you know, it's, I, I wish I didn't have to, to mention this, but, Occasionally, too, you know, uh, we know that our health sector in this party is not perfect. At times, you see the right person and then you advise wrongly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I've, I've seen people, I've diagnosed people, at least maybe about three or four, who had breast cancer, and they had been seen by a doctor like two, three years before. Mm -hmm. They did a scan, and the scan was saying it was a non-cancerous lump, mm -hmm. and they stopped there. Am I communicating? But it doesn't end as, a, as you can't stop at the scan. You have to do a biopsy. And by the time we now, it landed out to be cancer. My point is that you may see a professional person too who okay, says so wrong. wrong yes, it's possible for several reasons we will not go into now. So for you as an individual, it is your body. Even when a doctor advises you, because it really is advice that we give. Mm -hmm. You have a right to take it or not take it. It's the police that doesn't advise you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry, because uh, what you just said now really, really is really important because I saw someone recently that had, um, of course, had this. No, you go to pharmacies or rather you go to a doctor first, get a, a diagnosis of what you're feeling based on what you have explained. So this person was actually giving an overdose of a particular drug saying and when the pharmacy was going to be asked he said because of the way he explained how he's feeling that was on that basis was how he you know recommended the drug meanwhile the drug was supposed to be taken once a day but he was advised to take it you see? Um, um, twice a day he was advised to take it once a day you see now it now brings us back to the question was the person really a pharmacist mm. Because now we are seeing, seeing pharmacists. Was the person really a pharmacist? Can you prove to me that the person, that person, the, the person, the person saw at the store was really a pharmacist? Just an att attendant or something. Again, so those are some of the challenges. You can, there are hospitals you walk into there and the person you are talking to is not a doctor. Not even the doctor. <laughs> Are you getting so? Uh, because we don't carry as 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 educate about, and then we don't ask questions like Pastor said when you enter the claim. You don't ask to see the pilot's <laughs> license, yeah. you know. But when you enter on a street, you just trust that ah, the guy is a doctor. He went to school and he learnt what he was supposed to learn, so he would tell me the right thing. So that's why. So that's why research is important. Research, we need yeah. to further, Your you know, own research. because it benefits you at the end of the day. Mm. Get. You, you you understand what I'm trying to say, yes, and then sir. it makes you do things the right way, not because somebody else is doing it or somebody else said it's like giving. Mm -hmm. Why are you giving? Mm -hmm. Is it because everybody is giving and they'll give me an award at the end of the day, or you really know? Like this is uh, yeah. the this is what lifestyle. we're supposed to do. Yeah. So that's where we need to get to as individuals, not just do something because everybody is doing it. Let's put actual, you know, justify your that's actions. Yeah. Justify your actions. Don't just they said they said. <laughs> you know, you know. Every time, the, the thing is, um, that's why this is a reorientation. Yes. Because sometimes some people work. I'm not saying referrals are not good, but you've got to do your due diligent research. Mm -hmm. This whole fiasco made us realize that what information they've been pushing was mm -hmm. a part, was a narrative yes. they wanted to conform everybody's mind. Because all of a sudden, we always went to the hospitals without even finding out this person who is administering this medication or treatment to me. What is his qualification? No, we just say, we see them wearing white coats. <laughs> Everybody that wears a white coat is not necessarily a doctor. Mm -hmm. Now that's in its own, is trying to, you know, damage or bring a particular um, stain on 
the profession called doctoring. Meanwhile, there are people who have dedicated their lives mm. to ensure that lives are being protected. They are given the right information. But just like it, there are sh wolves among sheep mm -hmm. to ensure that, look, we're out there just to ensure that some certain people don't, don't get well because we need to sell the drugs, mm -hmm. because we need to make the money. The more people are sick, don't forget, Pastor told us with the your love world that this is a business. Yeah. The more people are sick, the big pharma will keep pushing out the drugs. The the number or when it comes to the ingredient that is supposed to make a particular drug, take for example painkillers. We see how now you have to take like you take it again and again. Yeah. And you know one of the challenge with that, I can I can explain that to you is that, um, especially for. Pastamon, the active ingredient inside is acetaminophen, mm -hmm. whether pastamon or panadol, you know, and they say 500 milligrams or they say one gram, okay? One of the reasons why is as if they don't work like those that are imported is because the milligram is questionable. Mm. It's as simple as that. Am I making any sense? Yes. yes. Aha, the milligrams are questionable. That's why at times you use the regular as I mean, here yeah. and it's not working and somebody gives you an important brand and you just use half and it and you're wondering ah this one is different. No, it's easy. You know, you know, because we're in an environment, unfortunately, <laughs> an environment driven by money. That's why you <laughs> need so, Jesus. Your, my That's final why you question, need your ABC steps, like what's your advice, general advice for cancer to avoid and what to do just generally fact ABC. Okay, uh, generally. <laughs> One is that, that, that there are two general steps I'll give. One med is, is the medical part. One is that uh, you just have to be conscious of your body. Uh, it, it, it's difficult to see this is what to do, and then there'll be no cancer, and this is what you do, and then you know it, it's really very difficult because there are different cancers of different parts of the body. And uh, early diagnosis is key. So what I'll add, advise is that be conscious of your body, generally speaking, okay? Exercise regularly. Are you getting what I'm saying? Um, the BMI that we use is not, is not excellent, but mm. that's the best we have. So we can still use it until we come up with something that is better. All right? Mm. Okay? So BMI means body mass index. Mm. Just try and be, have the right weight for your height. All right? Eat well. Drink plenty of water. Water is the best cleanser. Mm. Yeah. All right? So those are general things. Sleep adequately. I don't think you should sleep more than five hours every day, even though they say eight hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, eight hours is too much. Now, if you want to achieve anything in life, you're sleeping, <laughs> you're sleeping eight hours every day. I mean, I mean. How many hours do you have to work? <laughs> the night comes you know, when no man can work. You know, so I think personally eight hours it, it, it's too much. You can have moments where you relax, not necessarily sleep, but you relax and meditate or listen. You know, but to sleep eight hours straight, <laughs> then the second step. The second step is what we are about to talk about affirmations. Mm -hmm. You know, as Christians, um, the same way the life of God in us, okay, has influence in the things that belong to us mm -hmm. our cars, our phones, our businesses. There's an extension. The same way there's an extension into our bodies. Mm -hmm. So you cannot be a Christian. And because you have unpleasant symptoms, you are waiting to hear from the doctor to know what to do or how to. No, see the doctor. The same way if your car has issues. You're already speaking, but you take it to the mechanic. Mm. That's my advice. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? So it's not as if you, you are going to the mechanic and thinking, ah, you are thinking of the worst. No, it doesn't work like that. As a Christian, as a man thinking, so easy. Mm. Even if it wasn't there, it would start coming. Mm. So the same thing with your body. Understand your body. If there's something that you're not clear about, okay? Um, seek advice. That's the best way I'll put it. And seek the right advice. Mm. Because in your house or in your home, if you have an electrical problem, you don't call a plumber. You look for an electrician to solve the electrical problem. So it's the same way. Seek advice. Get somewhere where you can um, get the right advice. It may be a bit difficult, mm. but it's possible. Mm. Okay? So that would be my advice. So, so, so the second one is speaking. You have to keep you speaking. To speak. yes. Our words are not ordinary words. Mm. And that's why, I, I, as, a, as a Christian, you, you can't be 
uh, declaring God's word, and then on the other side, I say, ah, I'm afraid it may be. I'm afraid it may be. It doesn't work like that, which is why on that side, if you really have a genuine understanding and relationship with God's word, you may say, I'm afraid, I'm afraid it may be, it may be. You won't think like that. Your, your, your thoughts will not even go in that direction. You get what? So even though affirmations are important, your thoughts too are absolutely important. Yeah. What's in your mind is not about what we hear. You know, because God is only you and God that knows what's going on inside. Mm. Am I making any sense? So, yeah, yeah. so because as Christians, we have the ability to live above the systems of this world. It is in, is in us. It's now left for us to activate it. Okay? So we keep speaking, keep trusting. The same way we use IT, finance, investments, the same way we use healthcare to our advantage. It's yeah. as simple as that. It's a science. Yeah. We keep speaking. Thank you. And we live above the systems of the world. Now, the systems of the world see at a particular age, some certain diseases and some certain yeah. ailments are you know, attached to those ages, but not us, because we are ageless. Pastor yes. tells us that we are in the realm of agelessness, yes, sir. deadlessness, yes, sir. wantlessness. wantlessness. <laughs> That's oh, what it is. Okay. And as you make this word, as you declare, the scriptures tell us that if that same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, it will vitalize, it will quicken, you know, your mortal bodies. That's what it is. And just like Abraham did, he said he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but in faith he was consistent, giving glory to God. 